Hi, I'm Greg Walker. I'm a professor in the mechanical engineering department. Welcome to the thermal engineering lab. Let me show you a little bit about the work that we do in the lab. We have a lot of temperature measurement techniques that we use to do unique things with temperature. So the first one is with thermographic phosphors and we blow things up and all that really means is we use a combustion synthesis process to make thermographic phosphors, which is a powder. The powders that come out are glow in the dark and then we use lasers to characterize those uh, the temperature sensitivity of these, of these powders. Then we can paint these powders on something like a turbine blade that's moving at say 20,000 RPM and measure the temperature, which is pretty cool. Over here we have a uh, thermal imaging system and this is uh, just a regular camera but we're using neural nets to actually get more information out of the temperature measurements than you would normally get just by looking at a single image. And so we can measure the surface emissivity which gives us a much more accurate measurement of the temperature of these systems. So the other thing that we do in my lab is very computationally oriented. We study nanostructured materials. In particular, we use molecular dynamics. And right now we have a molecular dynamics project going on to study the catalysis of ethane to ethylene. And, and uh, in particular, we're looking at the thermal transport in the structures that the uh, catalysis happens on. And so we're actually looking at a nickel foam that's coated with graphene. And we do the atomistic, simu atomistic simulation uh, with molecular dynamics in order to figure out how to do transfers. The neat thing that we're doing that is very unique is that we're also including electrons. So electrons aren't normally considered in molecular dynamics, but because we have metallic structures, we have to consider electrons. And so we've got a new model that's able to do that. The other thing that we're doing in, uh, in nanostructured materials is using density functional theory. Density functional theory is used to calculate thermal transport in uh, super lattices, for example. And we look at phonon dispersions, and we look at the optical transitions even, in order to get all the, the energy transfer and the energy uh, utilization of these materials. So if you're interested in molecular dynamics, density functional theory, or machine learning, uh, then come check out our lab. We also have uh, experimental projects going on, such as radiation effects of materials and thermal imaging.